Bremo Stars and show, uh, yeah. Hotline, you know, had a wonderful game. You know, wonderful. <laughs> wonderful. Okay. Wonderful. It can be wonderful. It can be for the two sides. Usually, <laughs> the two side, it's the yeah, person that wins ones. Yeah. that claims um, mm -hmm. uh, having a wonderful mm -hmm. game. Yeah, but the NNL uh, Super 4 is, uh, is going on uh, at the minute. And um, uh, interesting to see uh, some of the teams that we'll see in uh, in the Nigerian Professional Football League starting on January the 14th. Um, Remo Stars got relegated last year, so uh, it was a terrible, terrible one for them. But then it looks like they're getting, they're getting set to bounce mm -hmm. back. That's the target for them, immediate promotion. And they took on Atland. Atland, um, one of the sides uh, that you expect uh, to, I don't know, maybe to light up the Premier League yeah. this season. Uh, Perhaps that's big expectations because uh, they're just coming back. But yeah. they're household name, traditionally mm -hmm. big side. So mm -hmm. you, uh, a lot of fans just want them to go there and just start getting the points. And uh, we saw them in action against the uh, Remo Stars. They lost that one, unfortunately. Yeah, but it's preseason, really. So it's not time to start getting dramatic. <laughs> uh, we had Moby Oparaku yesterday on the show, uh, team manager, and he was very confident uh, that um, they have the tools, they have the players uh, to. Uh, maintain the top flight status uh, this season and afterwards they, they were taken off from there. Yeah, that's what they need to do and that's why they had to play in this uh, NNL Super 4 and this obviously is going to be more like uh a stepping stone, yeah. so to speak, or more preparations for them. But losing this one, we just know that, okay, they need to work of, on a whole course, lot of stuff. Of Let's course. take reactions from that game. Last year, last season, I mean, the last 15 months, we played our under 19 boys. You can see them today. They will play the MNN. It's good for us. I mean, from, I mean, people believe we, are, we don't know what we are doing at that time, but I mean, the limitations is, I mean, it's behind them to see. Lemos is the only team I can coach free of charge. I'm so happy here. Good to be back in the MPF NSA. What happened is that. We, the Hardland, we, we, we are using this Super 4 as a pre-season campaign. Since others have been being campaign, pre-season campaign, this is our first time coming to this Super 4. So we plan and we are using it as our pre-season campaign. So there is no problem at all. But of all, I, I, I'm happy with the standard of the game. I don't know that my players, my, my players will perform in this way. So I'm happy. I'm happy in the sense that Harlan is ready for premiership. No, 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 I'm going to encourage them. No, I'm going to encourage them. I will talk to them, counsel them, that they, they should leave everything that happened to the game today to me. So I'm happy because I, I have discovered a lot of correction that I'm going to make the team. As the game progresses, Improvement comes in, so you see a different headland. Uh, I think not playing the final I, is, a, is something that uh, is very bad for us. We are supposed to be in the final and play that game and win because we were one of the NNN champions, you know, so we were supposed to be in the final. But we are not in the final, doesn't mean that we, we don't want to get to the final, sorry. But I believe that maybe some other time. You are playing Quara United. Mm -hmm. uh, welcome back. And of course, just listening to reactions coming from Hartland coach, the captain, and also Patasha talking about that. Stars. Well, on this segment, we'll be talking about Know Your Club. We've been talking about it for a while now. But this time around, we'll be talking about Go Round FC. That's one of the clubs that gained promotion to Nigerian Professional Football League for the 2017-2018 season. And we have the coach right here in the studio. But then before we introduce the coach, this is what you need to know about the Gorand FC, founded in 1994, and the nickname which I love so much, there the Lions. This is cool. Their Twitter handle is Gorand FC. Home ground is Chris Dera Stadium, Omuku. That's in River State. Administrator Sonny Ubo, Ungozi Elechi, of course. That's the coach. He's here in the studio. Nelson Esso is the captain. And last season they got promotion. Uh, they they, prom they were promoted from the NNL to Nigeria Professional Football League. Now, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. <laughs> Good to have you, Coach. Thank you. Now, Goran FC, we've seen what they've been able to do over time from River State. We know what Rivers United have done, you know, so far after the merger between Sharks and Dolphins and all that. But Goran FC, will they be able to replicate what Rivers is doing right now? Yes. Well, of course, uh, the, we will have to do that because uh, the preparation we had earlier on Right from the beginning, as uh, I took over the club as a coach of the, the club, 
far one day we are in amateur division three. I was called upon by then now the PDP chairman of River State, the Felix Obwa, called me that uh, Shokuma handled the team as a coach of the team. And uh, I did so by taking promotion to them to two, amateur to one, NNL and Premier League. And uh, the key is just his motivation. The man did a lot. As she knows that uh, we can go places. When we defeated the Rivers United in FA Cup Finals, he did share 22 million to the players to share. The but great motivation from the, from the club. So we we'll keep on going. So, but uh, one of the key factors here is uh, that uh, he gave us uh, the chance uh, of a uh, coach carry on. He gave me the free hand to handle the team. So I never failed. So we decided to push. And uh, we have shown that uh, we we'll do pushing. something here. Yeah, we're pushing. <laughs> Yeah, we know MPFL is going to be a tougher one, mm -hmm. knowing that all the clubs are traditional clubs, all these clubs have been there for a long time, and this is going to be the first time you will be playing in a professional club. What are the things, which players have you got in, and what are the things you want to do differently, knowing that the NNL and, of course, the top flight, it's all different? Yes, to me, I see no any different thing by sending football. Football is such about the mentality which every player uh, possesses. On my playing days, I played with Mickey Levy when I played in Plateau United of Joss. He was in academy in Pepsi mm. when I played Plateau United of Joss. He came into that team. And when he came into them, we have some big players of uh, Harris Nomoko and uh, uh, Christian Obodo and Co. But after which, after we left that team to Nasra United, and I left to Lobby, and he started to play. It's just the mentality of what the coach impact on the player. A player can come, a young player who can see the Nero 17, 18 players can come and play tough life football. People are taking MPFL and NNL as a different team. We have shown it in the past. We are in amateur division one club when we defeated Shasta Potako to one semi-final of FA Cup. We have shown that mentality that this is just uh, people take their little reaction of uh, pushing NNL and MPFL as a different ball game entirely. We have played a couple of games on other and MPFL team. All depends on the approach of a side. There is nothing different in the game. All defense are not on what the uh, match official will, will, will do. We have seen a, a, a case that uh, uh, the, the LMC banned some referees and all that, and the officials came into blue. Mm -hmm. Somebody can come here home and win. You can go somebody home and get a result. Right. So it's just all the mentality of what uh, the, the, team, the, the, the team has. Like I myself, as a young coach, a young coach that people have shown, he took off MFM as a young coach, right. and Gora has been in the same division of them three, four years ago. Them, we and them has played. Goran and, uh, uh, and uh, MFM will have uh, Imam Amapaka Bubin, a young coach, Kenneth Boya, a young coach. Yeah. See, if you see Soren Rand, you see this young coach is coming. Yeah. Heartland coach that we are in the same division with us. We, we are also a young coach. Yeah. And we have never lost to them. Them and Baisa United. Yeah. We beat Heartland in our home, draw them in their home. Yeah. We beat Baisa United in our home, draw them in their home. So we have that Goran have a character. Yeah. And we have shown it against Quara United day first day. Yeah. So you're very confident. Yeah, yeah, very, really, confidence. Really confident. yeah very, very confident. Yeah, very, very confident. Very confident. Uh, very, into very. the new season. Um, it's uh, going to be a tough, uh, tough, tough trip uh, to uh, Bauchi. That's your first game against uh, Wiki Tourist. I mean, um, how set are you for that one? Yes, we, we prepared well for it because that is why some of the new players we, we recruited for the season. Our preparation, like we went to Port Harcourt for where we got the synthetic there in Adokia Mesimeka Stadium. We also play in natural grass in Omok where we're going to play our league match. Mm. Because some of the teams like Heartland, Abia Warriors, Fedor, that are natural grass. So we train in Omok and natural grass and also train in a, a synthetic field in Adokia Mesimeka Stadium just to balance in case we meet any of all that. So that was why we recruited. I personally, choose uh, to recruit players from uh, NNL, not to go to MPFL. I decided mm -hmm. not to recruit from uh, MPFL. All my recruitment this year based on uh, NNL players, mm -hmm. which I know they have the mentality and they're ready to go. They are hungry to, to go. So I decided to choose them. So we are prepared for Wukitoris. Mm -hmm. And that was why I used those new boys to make sure I use this uh, NNL Super 4 as just uh, a a, a place to see them if they have that mentality for them to prepare against wicked tourists yeah. and they have shown that they have that mentality that they will go yeah. so i'm confident that the uh, yes, special grace of god will going to get result at wicked tourists wow. <laughs> now my final question to you is you know every club obviously when they are starting a new season always have a target what yeah. do these guys have 
Super Four, or rather, I mean, top four, <laughs> or maybe to win the league title. It's possible, right? Yes, it's possible for us to win the league title because all the young coaches have done it. Okay. So we're not going to be exceptional. We, we are confident we're going to come as a first four from the league. Can I take in your words now that uh, Goran FC is targeting the title of Nigerian Professional Football League this season? Yes, Goran is targeting the title for Nigeria Professional League. Okay, wish you all the best, right? Thank you. <laughs>